Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. Um, today I'm going to talk about um, the uh, tourney, of course, as you can see because of the brackets right here. Um, so one of the things that I'm going to do is basically um, discuss more about Sunday's um, uh, scores or more of some of the upsets, basically, more than anything else. Um, so uh, if you haven't been following, basically, you know, like, you know, March Madness is a big thing, basically, and, like, there are always upsets cause, uh, galore, and there are Cinderella teams that come about as per each year. But I think this year is a different year compared to other years because, well, not compared to other years, but at least it's, it's been a while since, you know, you've had a lot of upsets coming about as a result of the tourney, essentially. And today, it, I mean, this tournament is no different from the others, except for the fact that there's a lot more upsets than you anticipated, basically. Um... I would say this though, um, it's 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 interesting. Put it that way, it's interesting, um, to say the least. Anyways, uh, to that point, uh, let's go with some of the scores. Basically, um, fairly Dickinson, which was one of the uh, you know essentially one of the Cinderella teams. They upset Purdue, of course, FDU. So you know, it was interesting to see if they could advance to the Sweet Sixteen, uh, if they could beat Florida Atlantic University. Um, it seemed like there was a possibility that they could the way they were playing essentially um they i mean in the first half it, granted the first half here we know they weren't you know it was relatively decent i mean it wasn't a blowout per se when fau had the lead but of course in the second half as fairly dick started started playing really well you started realizing oh they have a shot and all that stuff and quite honestly it didn't seem that different it, it seems like fd fdu fairly dickinson had they played well in the first half it might be a different story as a result. I would say that, but as of course, because they were 16 seed, they were anticipated to lose. Of course, in this situation. Um, now, one of the other bigger things it was is basically to the point of Michigan State and Marquette. Now, this is an upset, of course, but not a huge upset per se. But it's still an upset, quite honestly, because one of the things is, is like, you know, Marquette basically having the um, the aspect of being a number two seed, you figured that they would at least advance to the Sweet 16. Um, you know, it would be a hard fought battle against Michigan State, but it just wasn't something that, you know, anyone anticipated of Marquette winning at that point. And this is a thing that's really surprising and not surprising, but moreover, the fact that it was Marquette that was ranked number two, which is a surprise. Uh, but quite honestly, um, it's, it's still an upset. Um, I don't think it's as huge of an upset still. Um, it wouldn't have been as huge of an upset, of course, if uh, FDU, Fairly Dickinson, had won. But, you know, it's a different story. Um, so, I mean, Marquette losing Marquette losing is, I think, probably broke a few people's brackets, of course, at that point as well, too, to be quite honest. Um, but I think one of, that, one of the ones that probably broke a lot of people's brackets outside of, you know, Purdue and Arizona losing specifically mine, just Baylor losing as well, too. I mean, Creighton beating out Baylor the way they did, um, that was a little... I think that's a little bit of a surprise as well, too. Creighton actually came out with uh, uh, guns a-blazing in the first half, uh, which was a surprise. I don't think they thought Baylor maybe... It, it was just a quick swift in the uh, uh, kick in the booty for them that they would wake up in the second half. They sort of did, but not as much by say, because Creighton was able to hold off, hold them off. So this is a little bit of a surprise. So now the things is that's kind of surprising as a fact is, is like, it's going to be Creighton versus Princeton University in the Sweet 16. And because it's going to be Creighton versus uh, Princeton, some people are thinking, okay, there's a possibility, because the way Creighton played against Baylor I think some people, as well as I think all of America is probably, or most of America, is possibly thinking, or majority of America anyways, that Princeton can be that similar Cinderella team that can advance to the Elite Eight. Because Creighton, let's be honest, good team, but if they play like this, the way they played Baylor against Princeton, I don't think uh, they'll get past Princeton. Princeton might advance, quite honestly. So this is going to be a little bit something that I don't think... Um, I think the game that we're definitely highly anticipating, I think everyone's anticipating, well, I'm anticipating, that will be a little bit more watched or, yeah, the most viewed, basically, will be Creighton versus Princeton. Um, so that will be interesting to see how that works off in that situation. Um, so that's, yeah, that's a, th th I mean, like I said, 
more upsets than normal, basically, than usual. Um, I mean, honestly, Baylor, it was going to be between Baylor and Arizona coming out of it. Everyone, some people are thinking Baylor should have been the number two team or maybe even the number seed seed in that, uh, in that conference. Um, but they were ranked number three, and I guess it proves otherwise that, you know, uh, the top four are probably not going to make it to the final four, uh, that, that one bracket uh, of the final four, basically. But with that, let me know your thoughts um, uh, as far as, um, you know, what you think about these, uh, you know, yesterday's games and the rest of the tournament as well. Too. Who, is your bracket now completely busted again? Uh, or do you still have a chance? Uh, again, please leave your comments uh, in the comment section. I will, I do look at all my comments and I do respond to them. Um, and of course, if you haven't liked, um, if you have not liked, well, if you haven't liked, please like if you want to. I'm not saying you should. It's up to you if you if you like it, this content, great. If you don't, you can dislike it too if you want to. Um, but also, but I do ask if you can please subscribe uh, if you haven't subscribed yet. Um, again, let me know your thoughts. Uh, let me know who do you think is going to win now. Um, do you think this tourney is a little bit much more different than all the other years? Uh, do you think Princeton can go all the way basically now? Now the fact that Creighton has beaten Baylor, do you think Princeton can actually beat out Creighton? Um, and yeah, that's it. Um, I'll just leave it at that. Uh, so let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Unfiltered, unedited, and unrehearsed. Until next time.